is Jen Vax with YourColorStyle.com, and I'd like to share with you a color analysis of a client that has given me permission to use her photo out on social media. She has dark hair and dark brown eyes and olive skin. And so this is a really interesting color analysis, and I'll show you why. So first, I want to show you the, the photo that she sent me. The one on the left is the original, and as you can see, just because of the way the camera took in the lighting, it really made her look a little bit too dominantly yellow. And so I pulled some of that out in the photo, so it's a little bit more realistic. But she still has this very dominant yellow, almost a greenish cast to her skin. This is very common for olive skin tone individuals. You'll have either a dominant yellow cast to your skin or a dominant green cast to your skin, depending on what you're wearing can even make that seem stronger. This can be confusing for some individuals that have dark brown eyes and brown hair because this yellow, dominant yellow, can make you think that you have golden skin and have warm undertones. But hard to believe, but that's really not what's happening here. This is the skin tone, not necessarily the undertones. And it can cause a lot of confusion, especially in finding the right foundation of makeup. Now, we're not going to be talking about makeup in this video. Foundation is a very uh, unique situation for each individual because everybody's skin tone's a little bit different. The undertones is only one part of the equation when figuring out the right types of makeup like foundation, especially for someone that has olive skin tone. So it's not as clear cut to say, oh, it's you're this color type and therefore you wear this foundation. It's unfortunately not that simple. So I recommend that you get a hold of a makeup expert to help you with your makeup. And just a, a little plug for our Style Masters membership. We do have a makeup expert on staff within Style Masters. So if that's something that you might be interested in to really pull your whole look together, you can always check that out. Okay, so let's get to the draping. We have bright and cool on the left and bright and warm on the right. And the next slide I will show you will be her in the soft colors. Right away, I feel like she needs those brighter colors. She has a dark hair, dark eyes, and it doesn't mean that, that she should wear brighter colors, but I just feel like it really brightens her up a bit. And you'll see the difference here with the soft. The other thing that I noticed is that the blue-based pink that I originally colorized her lips in and draped her in is, is really strong. So I don't know if I would like, like it on anyone, but it does seem to be a little bit more in harmony than the warm reds. And the reason that I'm saying that is because her skin looks more yellow with these warm reds. And that's because these reds have yellow in them and they're really kind of pulling out the yellow in her skin. This is also um, a, a struggle with someone with olive skin tone. Over here with the cool, you know, the soft is not harmonious for her. She looks tired, it's dragging her down a bit. I'm still noticing that the soft and warm colors are kind of um, laying on her. They're very muddy on her, it's not doing anything. And although the blue base pink, the, yeah, the blue base pinks, they're picking up some of the coolness in her hair. Overall, this isn't that great either. We can do better. So I first went back and forth to make sure that she wasn't warm versus cool because in, when I get the photos, it's it can be challenging. Honestly, even in person, this could be a little bit challenging. So I did a couple back and forths here. We have a blue, like a, just a bright royal blue on the left, and we have a golden mustardy yellow on the right. Again, it's bringing out some of those yellow green tones in her. She doesn't look very well in these colors. I also just went with the simple white versus cream, and same effect is happening from what I'm looking at here. The cream, which is kind of like you know the night, a very light, warm, yellowy. A uh, light color is is just not really um, very much in harmony with her. Where even though the lip is strong, the white really just looks fresh. I really like her in that white. So I feel very strongly that she is 
uh, has cool undertones and she would be bright, cool, and deep. Now, what will be unique for her is that because of her skin being dominantly yellow and um, green at times, that olive skin tone, she'll want to probably avoid some of those greens. Greens just bring out more of the green in the skin, just like the yellows, or we're bringing out more of the yellow in the skin. She'll want to focus on more of the colors that are opposite the color wheel, which would be true reds, magenta pinks, and purples, the, and the blues. Those are all going to balance out those dominant hues that might come through um, at certain times. The other thing to keep in mind is that even if you saw this video and thought that sh she has warm undertones, she will struggle with those colors because a lot of the colors that have yellow based in them, so all the tomato reds to the golden yellows and oranges, all are going to bring out more of that yellow in her skin and it's simply not going to suit her. So leaning into the universal colors of turquoises, teals, blues, purples, and true reds, and kind of staying away from those greens will be her sweet spot. So she is bright, cool, and deep. And if you're trying to figure out what colors flatter you best, and most importantly to learn what colors to avoid that drain you or overpower you, take the quiz out on yourcolorstyle.com slash quiz. It's absolutely free and it'll walk you through step by step on how you can figure out what types of colors are going to make you shine. I'm Jen Vax and thanks for watching.